Hello everyone, Boone here and welcome to Beyond the Brick. The April edition of Blocks Magazine has Ninjago resurrected on the front and I'm interested in seeing what's going on with this sort of neo-classic space looking ship. Let's check out what's inside. So we have seen a lot of Ninjago stuff in Blocks Magazines in the last six to nine months. Opening up here, I've got a couple photographs. Here is the table of contents. And let me tell you, there are some really exciting looking things here in the table of contents. This looks like a cool, I'm going to guess this is like a rebuild, let's see, 30, cover Ninjago, the Lego group does Sons of Anarchy, sort of. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I love the look of this little like food cart area here. we got a, a building that looks like a shake. Let's get to that in a minute, but some like chrome and gold plated classic space figures here man a throwback to the old snack bar the uh, ship in a bottle and this knight and king thing i'm not sure what we got going on here but i'm really excited this is probably uh the most exciting table of contents page i've seen in blocks magazine in a while let's just skip over some of this stuff we got some stuff here about harry potter and star wars if you're interested in that stuff you guys can certainly pick up this month's issue of Blocks Magazine. We have our typical uh, articles from the creators of Blocks Magazine, and I'm gonna kinda glaze over those. Oh, this one, I did like this one. This is an article about creating a minifigure display frame. Uh, this, I think, is a frame that he picked up from Ikea, and he sort of goes through the steps and shows you how to create one of these. I actually thought about doing this, uh, so I think I might try that sometime in the future. And then this is top 10 homegrown themes that need to make a comeback. I know that uh, Joshua Hanlon here at Beyond the Brick would certainly love to see Western come back. And uh, my friend Brett that you may have seen on the channel before, uh, the, this, is, this is their favorite. Oh, and also I think our friend Kevin Hinkle is really into the old Western sets as well. I loved Ice Planet 2002. It was one of my top favorite sub themes when I was growing up and I think I had more sets from Ice Planet than from any other sub theme as I was growing up. Uh, this looks really familiar to me, this reviews page. I think they've been using this two page spread. Um, maybe there might be some slight differences, but this it looks to me like the, the two pages that they've been using to introduce the reviews in blocks for several months, and it's a great spread. Um, I love, you know, the double-decker bus and the Saturn V, Ninjago City. We got some really cool stuff going on here, so I don't blame them for reusing this. And then we get into, oh, this is a set. Um, so this is actually a set that I didn't know about. I saw this picture in the table of contents and thought that this was a, a mod, uh, but it's actually a, a transformed version of this Temple of Resurrection set. Uh, one thing I think is pretty cool about this set is that the base here where the rocks meet the water, this is all built out of you know bricks and slopes and special rock panel pieces, but the way this is built over the water reminds me a lot of some of the mid-size sets in Castle and Forest Men and even the Islanders sets in the mid-90s. This is a pretty cool looking set. Let's move on here. We've got a lot of reviews. There we got the diner. That's that's an awesome looking set. We've talked about that a little bit in the past. And then here we've got the ship in a bottle. Uh, a full review on the ship in a bottle. I got to meet Jake Sadovich, the original creator of the Lego Ideas campaign, uh, the set for the Lego Ideas campaign that produced this Lego set. And uh, it is it is pretty awesome. The Lego set is awesome. The original mock that it's based on is even, even more incredible. The guy builds some really amazing stuff. And it, it was a pleasure to see some of his builds in person last month. We got a lot more here. Uh, this is just an article about, it's called Updating the Classics. And so we've got, you know, an old snack 
back bar set and then this updated version and I really like what they've done with the minifig here they've kind of taken the same uh, you know similar look with the brown hair and the blue shirt with a button-up vest and turned it into a guy with shaggy brown hair and a blue plaid button-up shirt this is cool and they've used the same color scheme but they've got this neat little wood deck out here on the side this is a, a good looking redo of the old Lego set and then we've got a couple more this hot rod club is a set that I definitely remember seeing on the shelves when I was young and they've redone it here and done a great job of sort of capturing the same theme, the same look, the same idea, but giving it an updated style. And then they've done the same yet again with an ambulance here. Uh, just a really cool way to update these, take these old sets and, and renew them with the same spirit, the same color schemes, but give them a fresh looking update. Here's a little article about the brick heads. I do like the brick heads, but mainly because of the pieces that come in them. Um, and then here we've got the Mod Squad versus Millennium Falcon Part 3. And in the last two issues of Blocks Magazine, we have seen these modifications that you can go through step by step for the new UCS Millennium Falcon. And yet again, here is a third edition of those modifications. Then moving on, uh, this is called From a Certain Point of View. This is just m another article. Uh, we've seen articles about photographing your Lego mocks in the past. And uh, this is another article and they've got some really fantastic close-up pictures of minifigs here in this article. Including one here of Luke and R2 with an overlay that sort of teaches you about thirds you know, upper thirds, lower thirds in photography here. Uh, beyond the brick ad. And then we get back into this Destiny's Bounty, the modular. This is the part three. So if you've had the last three issues, you'll also be able to build this set. And then yet another Batman steampunk build. And uh, this is another interesting thing. The last three issues, we've had the Millennium Falcon, the Destiny's Bounty, and steampunk Batman. It's kind of an interesting thing that they're doing with Block Magazine right now. And here we get to see all of the Batman steampunk builds put together. And it actually makes a lot more sense to me now that I see them all put together. They were three vignettes that we've seen three issues in a row. And now we get to see them all put together in sort of this Batman steampunk mech submarine bat cave, if you will. Uh, and it, it, it looks pretty cool like this. I think it definitely looks cooler when they're all three together than it did just one by one. And uh, let's see, we'll move on to this. We've got classic space on Lego ideas. So this is just a, a, an article about all these different Lego ideas projects that are based on classic space so many people love the look and the feel and the color scheme of classic space and, and it is apparent in how popular the you know the resurgence has been both at conventions and in photographs online as well as the projects that are on lego ideas so there is a an article there about that and then here's the the food stands that i was talking about i love that we've got a building that looks like a milkshake, a building that looks like a burger, and a building that looks like french fries. Uh, here in Portland we have foods, food carts all over town. There's little pods of food carts, so this is really cool that I've seen these, these food carts popping up in a lot of Lego builds lately. Keep moving on, we've got a little block, a little blocks word crossword puzzle there. And then just a little bit more, oh my goodness, this is an interesting thing about the use, some interesting uses for the door piece, and here they've put it in an old style typewriter, and it is the paper that is rolling out of the typewriter, and I love, absolutely love the look of this. And then we get on to uh, some mock Q&A, and we've got a creator here who has created Muppeteers, so they have created the micro figs of Muppets and mini figs of the famous Muppeteers. 
So here we've got Jim Henson and Dave Goles and Frank Oz, Jerry Nelson. This is kind of a cool thing if you're really into Muppets and the history of that genre. And then we got some block mocks and I absolutely love this mini ship in a bottle. So the ship in a bottle is kind of going crazy right now and they've shown us how to make a, a mini version. So, you know, Jacob, the original creator, could have the big one that he created out of his own imagination and then he could have the Lego set, which is a little bit smaller than that, and then he could have this teeny tiny, this teeny tiny mini ship in a bottle. That's so fun. Cool. One of my favorite things about Blocks Magazine is the fact that if you had all these pieces, you could follow these steps step by step and, and build yourself an exact replica of this mini ship in a bottle. Uh, also, this X-Wing fighter in the color scheme of the Scooby-Doo mystery machine is pretty funny to me. They call it the mystery X-Wing. We'll move on here. The most of Hong Kong. We've got a big Buddha statue built out of bricks and slopes and studs and other pieces and then a neat little uh, gondola and a train and the convention and exhibit center here. This is a, a pretty cool build. And we typically find event coverage here in the end of the magazine. And as I was talking before about the popularity of Classic Space, you can see here is a huge uh, build layout. And then we just got a list of events, uh, a look at this Lego Death Star set. So that's Blocks Magazine for April 2018. If you want to know more about this publication, you can check it out at www.blocksmag.com. Be sure to subscribe to Beyond the Brick for more awesome LEGO videos every day. Thank you for watching.